In studio with a guy that's got a great head of hair, Robbie Blair. Good morning to you, sir. <laughs> Happy to be here. Thanks for having me, fellows. Happy to have you. I'm Michelle Sadat. Good to see you, Michelle, again. Good morning. Yeah, Good it's, to see you. We're, we're talking food truck fests here, right? Yes, we are. We're on year three, which is a weird thing to say. Mm -hmm. Um, but this is year three, partnering with Advocate Insurance Group. Um, Michelle, the owner of Advocate Insurance Group, they're right downtown, and they've been, I mean, you've been a board member forever. Um, Thanks for pointing out my age. <laughs> I really appreciate that. He's young. He doesn't know. He's not that old of an organization. He's not sensitive to these matters no. yet. Well, <laughs> I would never say that because I've been through that mistake already. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh from day one, Michelle. Uh, this was, this was <laughs> I don't think that's that, any better or not, Michelle. He's not learning my, his lesson. <laughs> I've only been in the job three years. Day one, day one for my job is not that tenure. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, well, but Advocate yeah. Insurance Group is celebrating 15 years mm -hmm. in business, so that does kind of indicate my age a little bit. But so that's it's roughly okay. when Main Street started. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've actually been on the board, I think, for 17 years. That's incredible. Yeah. That's so. incredible. It's but you've been fun. an integral part of downtown. And then I know the Chili Cook-Off was your, your big event before I came on. Mm -hmm. And then this. Yeah. Matt entered into the it. Chili Cook-Off a couple times. Did you? Uh, well, I, it, it was not the one downtown because it was weekends and we had Shepherd games and things. But my son and I used to do it for 4-H. We would oh, do a, right. the, the Chili Cook-Off. So, no, we, we never. Uh, it was we a good never, chili. Are you a hot chili guy or a sweet chili guy? Uh, kind of a medium hot. You know, I like I, I don't want it. Do people sweat? Burn you? No, no, that's the thing. I'm not into sweating while eating my food unless it's a picnic outside, you know, in the, the heat of the summer. But uh, but I do like a little kick at the end. And so I always knew Joel and I were not winning our 4-H contest when I would go into the kitchen and they were putting a little sign in front of our chili going, this is hot. And I went, hey, Joel, we didn't win. We, we, we didn't win. It was a good chili, I remember. So, well, the story on why ours stopped, most people think it's because of the health department and COVID. But the real story is because the sponsors kept winning. And we just had to put a put an end to that. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we ended up winning the very last year, and then Went it never like came champ. back. It yeah. might have been COVID, maybe not COVID. I, I don't know. Was it your chili, know. Michelle? No, nobody would eat my chili. <laughs> <laughs> just my husband because he loves me, but no one else. Uh -huh. um, no, Shannon in our office is the and chili won? cooking queen, oh, and nice. um, it was actually a very unique chili. It was like a chicken bean chili um yeah it was really good well, that would go against matt's basic tenets of chili no be no beans, no beans. Right? Yeah, i'm not a bean oh, yeah. no I, and it's got to be beef that's what texas purists say yeah i do chili yeah. but because of family of I will, i'll do black beans not no like kidney beans that sort of thing yeah. but like maybe one can of black beans to give you a little bit but yeah i'm, I'm more meat meat yeah. chili mm -hmm. yeah there was a place in Old Town Alexandria, just outside of D.C. It was a chili restaurant, and they must have had 30, 40 different mm -hmm. types of chilies back in the 80s, 90s. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, John. Uh, <clears throat> that one was that Bombay Bicycle Club? Nah, I, I may have been. I don't know. I, I don't remember the name of it, but I just remember it was on King Street in Old Town Alexandria, oh, no, out I'm there down know. by Murphy's and the Fish Market. Okay, and all that stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I know the area. It's across the, the street from it. Yeah, a great place. So now, you, do you at least have a chili truck? I was just looking. I swiped over to my my food truck lineup, and I don't think there's anybody having chili. But uh -huh. uh, coincidentally, it won't matter because we're going to have 79-degree weather this what? Saturday. Crazy, huh? No yeah. idea how we called in the great weather, but might not be the, the chilly weather on Saturday. So no you might harm be no foul. wanting yeah. something else. What all do you right? have? We've got a lot well, of we options. Well, we got taco trucks, so Taco Oasis, the funneling around uh, funnel cakes, Toasted, which is, I mean, any kind of grilled cheese you can imagine, cool. they do it. I like grilled cheese. Um, Mac and cheese grilled cheese. Yep, they mm -hmm. do. They, yeah. I mean, it's really exotic yeah. stuff. It's really good. Comes really with a defibrillator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you're gonna have to. Yeah, you're gonna have to calorie count if you come to this thing. Uh, Did you get the crepe truck? The crepe truck has not come. Every time I'm on here, Rob is like, "You gotta get these. You gotta guys get the crepe truck. Have okay. the crepes." Oh my goodness. Um, Turkey and, cheddar cheese crepe. No, we, we, we opt for the pierogies instead. I always think of crepes as, like, sweet. You do, right? right? And this yeah. totally throws you off. Okay. A savory crepe is, is really delicious. Savory I don't crepe. think I've ever oh. had that. I only know that because I took level three French in high school and we made them. Oh. Um, so Impressive. Fancy. Come with Alibu. Ouh, Lucy. But yeah, I mean the, the the laundry list of everybody that love that we love to have at these things, uh, food by fire coming back. Like I said, uh, the pierogies will be there from from Pennsylvania. Uh, King of flavors. We got jerk chicken. We got 
hand rolled ice cream. We got the Ford's Fish Shack with the um, lobster rolls, uh, fed up food truck, Kona Ice. Uh, there's there's some new trucks that do like just wraps. What is hand rolled ice cream? Hand rolled ice cream? Yeah, what is that? Never. It's like the fried ice cream. They they spread it out on the grill and then they roll it up. But it's a cold. Maybe it's it's, a, it's an anti grill. It's yeah, anti grill. Like, yeah, right. It's a it's a cold slab. It's like um, Cold Stone, only they flatten it out, and then they. I've never had that. I've only I've seen them in kiosks in the mall. I don't I don't know how you do that in a. They truck. have them at Sweet Hut. Yeah, Sweet Hut right? Cafe right downtown. downtown has them. You Did can it? check it out. I've got yeah. to stop in there. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, that, that's the reason why at Sweet Hut you always see a line, especially in the summer of high school students, because they have the boba tea, which they all are obsessed with, mm-hmm. and then the hand rolled ice cream is is a huge draw. Mm-hmm. Got to check out the hand-rolled ice cream. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we have – I mean, I could k- go on and on and on. We have 24 food trucks coming. Let's go. Uh, Hit them, baby. Yeah, well, I got I got 15 more minutes. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> Traveling Tom's Coffee Bar. Uh, that It'll be their first event. The Classy Kids – or the Classy Caboose, a.k.a. Cool Kids Concessions, Papa's Chicken and Ribs, the 301 Food Truck, Titan Barbecue, BC Catering, Taste of Grease, which I'm excited about, um, the James Rumsey Food Truck, uh, the Taste of the Philippines, King Flavor, Almost Heaven Concessions, Jam Rock Grill, Wrapped and Rolled, uh, Gourmet Goiza. Don't know how to say that one, but went for it. Sounded good. Yeah. <laughs> it's gourmet. The, yeah, gourmet. Um, and the thing that, that we always love about these events is, like, we know the lines are going to be super long. We expect ten to 15,000 people at this. But it's a great opportunity to get into some of our restaurants as well. They're all geared up. They're all ready, you know, to to take in the overflow of people that might want to break from the lines, mm-hmm. might want to sit down and have uh, something a little more strong than our our beer that we're offering in the beer garden. Um, but where's everything getting set up? Well, it's it spans all of Queen Street, so mm-hmm. it goes from uh, Ray, we block off from Ray Street all the way down to King Street and a little bit beyond, um, and. We try to we try to spread the love a little bit. This year will be a little bit different. We normally have the um, the stage right where the beer garden is, but um, we're having the stage, and then as an extra incentive for folks to sponsor, we have our VIP tent. So anybody who partnered with us on this event to make it possible, um, we gave them a reserve table under a tent covering right there on uh, Burke Street as well, in between the Market House and Bulls Rice. And then the beer garden is over in between the Shenandoah Hotel Apartments and uh, St. John's there on Martin Street. Um, Again, just wanted to make sure that all the businesses, like people would intermingle a little bit more. And the good thing is you can take your beer out of that area. It's not like that's the constrained beer garden. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's just the place where the beer's flowing. So You can walk on the street with it? You can walk down the street for the day. um, And it's actually very strict. If you're here and you're, if you're listening and you're going to come, please keep it within the the event, you know, confines. confines. Don't take it into stores. Just, you know, walk around with it. Um, that, that ensures that ABC will let us keep having the event. Um, but yeah, we've made it so that everything there on that Queen Street corridor is accessible. We have over 50 vendors that are coming, like I said, 24 food trucks. Um, and the library has actually also partnered with us. They're putting on, in conjunction with us, Mm -hmm. their own little kids fest over on the square. So Tony M is going to have some live music for the I'm kids. I'm excited about this. Yeah. I've got three young ones, an eight-year-old and twin six-year-old. So they are stoked for all the fun things that are going on for the kids zone. Yeah, I was a little bummed. They said six and up for the, the haunted maze. And my son, who's <laughs> turning four in a couple of weeks, I'm like, he's all over the spooky stuff. So I'm like, let, let the kid get in there. Is but he tall enough? What, did he I pass for six? Passable. I bet they don't card. He's passable. Yeah, they, <laughs> they don't ID. That's true. Um, so yeah, the the folks over at the library, Tony M, they've all helped out. They've all done their part. I know um, Parks and Rec just announced, or they're in talks about a a skate park being built, and there's some people there setting up uh, temporary skate little thing mm-hmm. for to raise awareness for the plans and the blueprint and where they're going to put it. So um, lots of really really cool stuff. Is it dog friendly? Is it dog friendly? So. Let me ask my insurance agent on this one. Um, Don't have to look too far. Yeah. Yeah. Not particularly. Yeah. I mean, okay. it's absolutely if you have uh, – we always see dogs out mm-hmm. and about, but 
um, especially in the kid zone. I would say maybe stay out of that region just because all the kiddos aren't necessarily comfortable. But Yeah, and the way that I would always put it, I'm assuming you're a dog lover and you have dogs. I, I have one dog, and I'm not sure I would bring her. But There you go. That, <laughs> I have, well, I've, I've gone to events with her, and you get to the gate, and they say it's – Aww. Dogs are not allowed. Let's so just we, service dogs. Yeah, you know, so we wouldn't not... turn anybody away. But here's right. the thing: um, there, like I said, there, we're looking at ten to fifteen thousand people in a confined area with loud generators, loud music, it's kids running dog. around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels like the more dogs you have, the more you know. How much seating is there? So we have inter, you know, intermittent through the whole event. We have lots of high top tables for people to hang out at. We have some round tables mm -hmm. put throughout the event with um, chairs around them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely, we always have folks that end up finding a sidewalk to sit Curb on sitter. or something like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but there, there's there's enough for folks to to make their encampments and stuff like that. The other thing is, a lot of people like to bring their lawn chairs and hang out in front of the stage mm -hmm. that we have because you know, they're music lovers and mm -hmm. they just make their little spot and little picnic area right there on Burke Street. And excitingly enough, uh, for music, we actually have, so we have a local cover band kicking things off. Um, the, the name escapes me because he changed his band name recently. Um, but it's Sean Fisher, he's awesome. He was at one of our last food truck fests and, and everybody loved his music. Um, Stellar Ride, that's what it is. Uh, and then, um, Coming back from the summer concert series, I'm really excited about it. We have Dale and the Z-Dubs coming up from Washington, D.C., and they are a very up-and-coming band. They do, like, the 90s rock and rock and kind of ska music. Um, last I checked, they're up to 111,000 monthly listeners on Spotify. So um, they usually travel. Some groupies come, and it's it's a good time. They have groupies? They do. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. We don't have groupies. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> 13 years yeah they're still out there they will come rob hang in there it's awesome <laughs> can't always have hope yeah so it's, what food what, truck fest by the way what time what uh, what's the time of the day it's 11 to 6 mm -hmm. um and i have to say are, are the diamondbacks still in the world series or, or yes. in the in the playoffs? game seven tonight really hoping they win it all so that ken kendrick can get that check i um i jinxed it the other day we were having a meeting and i was like we got to get the game the west virginia game on the screens so that you know because we're doing really good we're four and one right now oh, you know true. everybody's going to want to be there i can't see them messing it up against houston oklahoma state and then they lost the last two mm. uh, so i'm really hoping that the the diamondbacks do well so that ken kendrick can pay that uh neil brown buyout and get a new coach in there, um, but yeah, we'll we'll have the game kicks off at noon, so we'll have that on as well in the beer garden. You were about to say, Mr. Gilstrap. Logistics: do do we pay to enter, or do you just go in and it's completely free? free. Okay, yeah. So free this is one of the fun ones. Mm -hmm. um, so how does the city make money off of this? Well, the city doesn't. We're or separate five one C. Okay, Main Street Martinsburg. And we couldn't do it without the city. Uh, okay. Let me let me emphasize yeah. that they the public works department and the police department become an extension of our organization mm -hmm. every time we do one of these things. Um, the they, amount of setup and cleanup. Yeah. Oh, I'm that, sure that's why I assume crew, the city must be involved. Right, they definitely are. And we are a city char chartered organization, which mm -hmm. is why they um, partner with us to exactly. make this happen. Um, yeah, and yeah. It, a lot of folks also notice the the date. I've been telling everybody that we're having a welcoming party for Andy Blake and a uh, we're sending off uh, Mark Baldwin, Mark Baldwin <laughs> with with a bang. It's the day after his retirement, so we're all going to celebrate his tenure and uh, and welcome in Andy as well. But no, we make our money off of um, sponsorship. So the sponsorship we try to structure it to pay for everything that goes on all throughout the, the event. All the expenses, yeah. Yeah, renting all the tents, the stage, the entertainment. Um, which we did have a lot of generosity from folks this year. Obviously, Advocate is the presenting Do the sponsor. vendors and the trucks pay a fee to be a part they of do. it? They do. They okay. do. Um, we, we, I mean, everything that you can think of that we can give people um, advertising in exchange, we do. Like CEC has come in as the cup sponsors this year, so mm -hmm. uh, we got some souvenir cups for people to take home with logos on it. Um, and, you know, like I said, we exchanged marketing and all that stuff for – for the sponsorship, but um, we also, you know, we make a lot of money off the beer sales the day of. Um, it's definitely not St. Patrick's Day level beer, uh, but when it's a nice warm day on the fall yeah. and there's yeah. football, and seventy nine and sunny, 
yeah, it, it ends up being a, a real, real big seller for us. And um, so, yeah, vendor sale or vendor fees, uh, beer sales, that that sort of stuff. And when we walk in, is there a is there a list that we get of who's there and where they're located? So um, they- we we will have a few things printed off intermittently throughout the event. But if you're interested in the event, definitely find us on Facebook so you can see that whole list. Okay. We have a map that we're going to be putting out either today, hopefully today. Mm-hmm. Um, we got the first draft of it. Um, yeah, we'll have a map where where everybody's located, um, and and you'll see very clearly the confines of the event. Right, so here, you don't here's mess it here's up. the honest question you're going to get about. Food truck fest. Honest. Uh-oh. Honest. Okay. Do any of these folks not take cash? Oof. I doubt it. I doubt anybody doesn't take cash. No, nobody has has you know Explicitly given that prerequisite that, yeah. to us. So, told you it was an odd question. <laughs> but well, they, it's, but they it's coming take, up more and more. Where they don't take cash in Morgantown cash. anymore at the right. football games. So, right. My my point. Mm-hmm. We accept cash for yeah. beer tickets, right? Yep, cash card. Uh, we'll actually have a sign that has, you know, express lane so that folks, whenever they do come, don't get confused and we can keep things moving. Um, yeah, we're doing a lot of things to try to make those beer lines move faster and yeah. more Like free refills, for example. <laughs> that is not on no. the slate. <laughs> Should be not. considered is what John is yeah, saying. I'm That's just all. saying. Yeah, throw it As out there. As an insurance agent, I say no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Liability. You mentioned earlier uh, uh, like 50 vendors. Mm-hmm. So what else will be available, not only the food trucks, not only the music, the kids zone, and so forth, but it sounds like a lot of arts and crafts and other things yeah, as well. Yeah, arts and crafts. Uh, our friends, uh, the book hop, um, my mom came home from Apple Harvest last weekend with a bunch of new books. They're to always give my favorite. Yeah. I love the book hop. Yeah, uh, some pop-up boutiques, um, all sorts of stuff that, that people can vend. Um, I'm sure it's a lot of a lot of folks that were just at the, the Apple Harvest last mm-hmm. weekend, but um, we, my friends in Charlestown and I, we like to share resources. Uh, Liz, who I know has been on the show before with Charlestown now, gave me her group of folks that had been a part of their West Virginia Fest, mm-hmm. and so now we're we're getting people that have never been to Main Street events. They, they're usually Jefferson County folks um, selling books, you know, jewelry, the whole deal. So a chance to start your Christmas shopping, if you mm-hmm. haven't already, Yeah, and have a great time. Yeah. Enjoy I, great food. And I know um, we have a business celebrate, or actually doing a, a soft grand opening at the event, the Trendscape. It's right beside of Bricks 27. Um, so we have we have a lot of folks getting creative on how to get people in their doors while, while everybody's downtown. Um, you know, there's plenty of outdoor seating for if you're, like, like I said, the lines are too long, head over to... Ty, Ty Martinsburg or Stoney's or, you know, go into one of the restaurants, Sweet Hut Cafe. There's lots of outdoor dining, um, places to, to hang out within downtown. What's next? After this? Uh, well, we got Christmas on Main is right around the corner. Mm-hmm. Our friends at Quad Graphics are, are the presenting sponsors there. So we'll have to come back on and talk about that. But I am really excited. I need to come even before then to talk about our new passport that we launched. Um, kind of a, a new shift in, in how we do membership. It's a fundraiser for us, but it also supports um, the downtown businesses. It supports the local economy, tries to get people in the doors of the event or of our downtown businesses outside of just an event. And uh, the, the Development Authority sponsored that one. So I have to come back and talk about that one because it's a really cool deal, lots of discounts, lots of really cool incentives to shop downtown. It's basically like a loyalty program across downtown. So it's pretty cool. Very good. Can I finish with one more question? Sure. I just want to ask Michelle. 17 years on the board yes. with Main Street Martinsburg. Mm-hmm. Your business is in downtown Martinsburg. Talk yes. to us about what those 17 years have meant to you, to your business. What Main Street means to downtown Martinsburg? Yeah, so I am in downtown on Queen Street because of Main Street Martinsburg and Randy Lewis. Um, I met him through a networking group and um fell in love with him and his passion for downtown and um he quickly snatched me up got me on his board and um i just fell in love with downtown and what he was trying to do to revitalize the the district and to see how much how far we've come Mm -hmm. i started out in what is um, now the hub suites with a single office build uh office suite and ended up um, moving and purchasing a building downtown and um, completely renovated it. It had been vacant for 
10, 15 years. Mm -hmm. So um, put a lot of money into that. And now we're just part of the downtown and we love being there and we love being a part of Main Street. Um, all the support that we get from the fellow businesses downtown and the Main Street program in the city, um, it's it, it feels like we're part of that community and we love it. So we love sponsoring these kinds of events and just getting other people to come downtown and fall in love with it like we did. That's a great story. Yeah. Good question, Matt. Thank, Thank you. you. Michelle, thanks question. for sharing that. Yeah. Uh, recap, 30 seconds, real quick, Food Fest. Food Truck Fest this Saturday, October 28th from 11 to 6 p.m. We got 24 food trucks. We got over 50 vendors. Um, our friends at Advocate Insurance Group have graciously sponsored. Um, and we, we would love for you guys to come down. Free entry all day. Uh, Bring the kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kids Zone is going to be dressed up in their great. little Halloween costumes. There's going to be a little right. costume it's contest. It's Halloween. Yeah. Yeah, Halloween. Yeah, Bring it's not a Halloween event, but no. it is Halloween friendly. And we want everybody to come out and enjoy it no matter <laughs> what stage Especially of life you're for in. the kids. Yeah. We know. are anti Halloween. We will not welcome you here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks for coming in. Thank you for having us. Thank Always you. Good time. Thank you so much.